Welcome back to my project, this is Eric. Finally, finally, I have a round display with rotary switch in my hand. You don't know how long I've been waiting for something like this. Of course, there are smart knob display products produced by some individuals or companies for development, but I gave up because I had to run a different way in order to develop some applications with them. And finally, the product I wanted was released on the open market. This product is based on ESP32S3 and you can use LVGL to create your own UI and show it on the display. This is a very, very exciting thing. If you develop your own smart home IoT like a thermostat, it seems to be very useful. As I said, it's based on ESP32S3 and has a 16 mega flash and 8 mega PS RAM. The display is ST7701S and the resolution is 480 by 480. Uh, what is currently working is a built-in program. It looks like it's written on LVGL, but I don't know for sure since I don't have the code. As a peripheral, it has a hard encoder for the knob. It also includes a built-in LED so you can express it in any color you like. Also, since the vibrating motor is built-in, it can give the user a vibration effect. On the left is a Google Nest thermostat E in use at home. Great product except for the frosted display. It's too blurry a screen. Normally the app controls everything, so you don't have to touch it directly like this. Imagine that you can make something like this. It'll be fun. Can you hear that? Since there is a button inside, pressing the screen can trigger a button event. It doesn't have a touch screen, so it absolutely needs one button at least. Uh, based on the source code released by the company for this product, I ran the LVGL keypad encoder demo. I'm selecting a UI object with a rotary encoder. It works great. We can take a total of two inputs, a button and a rotary encoder. How can you configure the user interface with them? First, configure the menu for each page. Let's say we have A, B, and C pages. After selecting C with the rotary encoder, press the screen to push the physical button. When C is selected, the C page is shown to the user. Here, the UI object for the back button is on the screen. So the user rotates the rotary to select the back button or perform the necessary actions on this screen. The new type of device allows for a wider variety of projects. I don't know if it's optimized for smart home devices, but I want to try it in a different way. For example, I think I can do a project like a Dragon Ball's uh, Dragon Rider. Uh, there are actually similar projects on GitHub. Anyway, I want to create uh, something like that. I will update you as soon as the new project is completed. I hope this will be a fun project. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next project.